everyone this is samira studying 10th class in sai baba high school now i am going to explain about artificial intelligence what is mean by artificial intelligence artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions how the artificial intelligence works to understand how the artificial intelligence actually works one needs to deep dive into the various sub domains of artificial intelligence and understand how those domains can be applied into the various fields of the factory now let us learn what is machine learning machine learning is nothing but it teaches a machine how to make discussions and inferences based on the past data it identifies the patterns and analyzes that past data to infer the meaning of these data points to reach a possible conclusion without the involvement of human experience next let us know about deep learning deep learning is a machine learning technique it teaches a machine how to process inputs through layers in order to classify infer and predict the outcome now let us know what are neural networks neural networks are nothing but they work on the same principles as of human neural cells they are a series of algorithms that tries to capture the relationship between various underlying variables and the processing data as a human brain does what is natural language processing natural language processing is a science of learning reading understanding and interpreting a language by a machine once a machine understands what the user intends to communicate it responds accordingly let us know what is computer vision computer vision algorithm tries to understand an image by breaking down an image and studying the different parts of the objects this helps the machine to classify and learn from a set of images which will give the better desired output now what is cognitive computing cognitive computing algorithm try to mimic a human brain by analyzing text speech images and objects as a human brain does to give the better output an artificial intelligence can be built over a diverse set of components and will function as an amalgamation of philosophy economics mathematics cybernetics neuroscience psychology computer engineering control theory and linguistics what is the purpose of artificial intelligence the main purpose of artificial intelligence is to aid human capabilities and help us to make advanced decisions with far reaching consequences from a philosophical perspective artificial intelligence has the potential to help the humans live more meaningful lives devoid of hard labor and help them manage the web with interconnected individuals companies states and nations to function in a manner that has the beneficial of all of humanity where is artificial intelligence used artificial intelligence is used in different domains to give insights into user behavior and give recommendations based on the data for example google's predictive research algorithm uses the past data of the users and the facebook also uses the past data of the users to automatically give suggestions to tag your friends based on their facial features in their images the usage of artificial intelligence would broadly fall under the data processing category which would include the following searching within data and optimizing the search to give most relevant results logic chain for if then reasoning and that can be applied to execute a string of commands based on the parameters pattern detection identifies the significant pattern based on the data set of images applied probabilistic models for predicting future outcomes now my friend rajeshwari is going to explain what are the advantages of artificial intelligence hi everyone this is p tejeshwari studying 10th class from sai baba high school now i am going to explain what are the advantages of artificial intelligence 
there is no doubt in the fact that technologies has made our life better from music recommendations map directions mobile banking to fraud preventions ai and other technologies have taken over there is a fine line between advancement and destruction there is always two sides to a coin and that is the case with ai as well advantages of artificial intelligence reduction in human errors available 24 by 7 helps in dpt to work digital assistance faster decisions rational decision maker medical applications improve security efficient communications let us take a closer look helps in repetitive work ai can productively automate mundane human tasks and free them up to be increasingly creative right from sending a thank you mail or verifying documents to decluttering or answering queries a repetitive task such as making food in restaurant or in a factory can be messed up because humans are tired or uninterested for a long time such tasks can be easily performed with the help of ai Digital assistance. Many of the highly advanced organizations use digital assistance to interact with users in order to save human resources. This digital assistance is used in many websites to answer user queries and provides a smooth functioning interface. Rational decision maker. We as humans may evolve to a greater extent technologically, but when it comes to decision making, we still allow our emotions to take over. In certain situations, it becomes important to take quick, efficient and logical decisions without letting our emotions to take over. AI powered system decision making will be under the control of algorithms and thus there is no scope of emotional decision making. This ensures that efficiency will not be affected and increases productivity. Medical applications. One of the biggest advantage of artificial intelligence is its use in medical industry. Doctors are now able to assess their patients' health risks with the help of medical applications built for AI. Radio surgery is being used to operate on tumors in such a way that it won't damage the surrounding tissues. Medical professionals is being trained to use AI for surgery. This can also be helpful to efficiently detecting and monitoring various neurological disorders and stimulate the brain functions. Efficient communication. When we look at life just a couple of years ago, people who didn't speak the same language weren't able to communicate with each other without the help of human translator who could understand and speak both languages. With the help of AI, such a problem does not exist and natural language processing or NLP allows the system to translate a word from one language to another language, eliminating a middleman. Google Translate has advanced to a great extent and even provides an example of audio how a word or sentence pronounced in another language. What inspired you to start taking photos? ¿Qué te inspiró para empezar a tomar fotos? Me encanta contar historias con imágenes hermosas. I love telling stories with beautiful pictures. Now my friend Nandini is going to explain disadvantages of artificial intelligence. Hi everyone, this is Nandini studying in 10th class in Sai Baba High School. Now I am going to explain what are the disadvantages of artificial intelligence. Cost overruns, potential for misuse, highly dependent on missions, required supervision. Let's take a closer look at them. Cost overruns. What separates AI from normal software development is the scale at which they operate. As a result of this scale, the computing resources required would exponentially increase pushing up them. Potential for misuse. The power of artificial intelligence is a massive and it has the potential to achieve great things. Unfortunately, it also has the potential to be misused. Artificial intelligence by itself has a neutral tool that can be used for anything. But if it falls into the wrong hands, it would have serious repercussions. In this nascent stage, where the ramifications of AI development are still not completely understand, potential for misuse might be even higher. Highly dependent on missions. Most people are already highly dependent on applications such as Siri and Alexa. Alexa, turn on the lights. Turning on the lights. By receiving constant assistance from missions and applications, we are losing our ability to think creatively by becoming completely dependent on missions. Alexa, 
When was the Battle of Panipat? The first Battle of Panipat was fought in 1526. We are losing out uh, learning simple life skills, becoming lazier, and rising the generation as highly dependent individuals. Required supervision. Algorithms functions perfectly well. They are efficient and will perform the task as worked out. However, the drawback is that we would still have to continually supervise the functioning, although the task is performed by the machine. We need to ensure that mistakes are not being made. Thanks for watching the video. Please like this video and subscribe to Sai Baba High School YouTube channel and click on the bell icon for further updates.